So the stock market and our country, from an economic standpoint, is doing the best probably it's ever done. We're hitting new highs again. We've hit new highs, I guess, close to or over 100 times since I'm president from the time of the election. Uh, unemployment numbers are the best they've ever been, by far. Uh, we have almost 160 million people working today in the United States. That's more than we've ever had working in our country before. We're doing well on trade. We're doing well with China. Things are going good. I'm bringing the First Lady right now. She's worked very hard on the opioid crisis. We're down about 17 percent from last year, which is pretty amazing. We're down 17 percent with the opioid problem. It's a big problem. It's a big addiction. And uh, we're handling it. The doctors are working with us. The labs are working. The clinics are working. The pharmaceutical companies are working with us. And we've made a tremendous amount of progress. John, go ahead. Well, the subpoena is ridiculous. We have been, I have been the most transparent president and administration in the history of our country by far. We just went through the Mueller witch hunt where you had really 18 angry Democrats that hate President Trump. They hate him with a passion. They were contributors in many cases to Hillary Clinton. Hate him with a passion. How they picked this panel, I don't know. And they came up with no collusion, and they actually also came up with no obstruction. But our attorney general ruled, based on the information, there was no obstruction. So you have no collusion, no obstruction. Now we're finished with it. And I thought, after two years, we'd be finished with it. No. Now the House goes and starts subpoenaing. They want to know every deal I've ever done. Now, Mueller, I assume, for $35 million, checked my taxes, checked my financials, which are great, by the way. You know they're great. All you have to do is go look at the records. They're all over the place. But they checked my financials and they checked my taxes, I assume. It was the most thorough investigation probably in the history of our country. I think I read where they interviewed 500 people. I say it's enough. Get back to infrastructure, get back to cutting taxes, get back to lowering drug prices. That's what, uh, really, that's what we should be doing. Well, we're fighting all the subpoenas. Look, these aren't like impartial people. The Democrats are trying to win 2020. They're not going to win with the people that I see, and they're not going to win against me. The only way they can maybe luck out, and I don't think that's going to happen, it might make it even the opposite, that's what a lot of people are saying, the only way they can luck out is by constantly going after me on nonsense. But they should be really focused on legislation, not the things that have been — this has been litigated, just so you understand. This has been litigated for the last two years, almost since I got into office. Now. If you want to litigate, go after the DNC, crooked Hillary, the dirty cops, all of these things. That's what should be litigated, because that was a rigged system. And I'm breaking down, I am breaking down the swamp. If you look at what's happening, they're getting caught, they're getting fired. Who knows what's going to happen from now on, but I hope it's, I hope it's very strong. But if you look at drain the swamp, I am draining the swamp. Thank you very much.